point perspectives, we still have a horizon line, but we also have two vanishing points. And instead of seeing the flat of the box, what we see is the corner of the box. So I'm going to draw one box here, and I'm actually going to draw them one at a time so we don't get confused. Take my lines, and I draw a line from the top and the bottom of my corner box to each one of the different vanishing points. So now I can see two of the faces of the box, but I don't have the two other faces of the box. So I'm going to have to draw arbitrary parallel lines to that middle line, this one here, on either side, and this is going to be a rather narrow box on this side. And then I've determined the size of the box. I now have to again go back to each of my vanishing points and draw a line. Now I have all the guidelines that I need for my box. And so that I don't get confused with the next box that I create, I'm actually going to erase those lines. Now we're going to try one more box. This time we're actually going to put it on the horizon line. And you'll see how that works a little bit differently. So there's the edge of the box. Again, I'm going to draw lines from here to the edge. And you'll notice that these lines will come from each of the vanishing points to the top and the bottom of this box. However, because we don't see the top or the bottom, because this is on the horizon line, I don't have to create those extra lines. I just need to make my arbitrary lines for the other two faces or sides of the box. And again, we'll make another kind of narrow box. And then I just have to erase my guidelines again.